All right, guys, welcome to a look at FIFA Street 3. Oh, my God. So, yeah, before we get into this today, I'm just going to read from the back of the actual um, case that the game comes in. And um, it's t it tells you a, f a few things. It says the street is moving. Yeah, moving in the wrong friggin' direction by this point. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Instant control. Seamlessly combined flicks, drags, and traps. Uh, players your heroes. So it's got 250 of the world's best players. Um, online playground pick. So take it in turns to select an all-star street team. So you can actually play this one online. Um, street challenge mode. Climb to the top of the street rankings by winning in style. And then you've got specialist players. Add tricksters and forces playmakers and finishers which is kind of like the four different sort of types of player i guess um to your side and find the perfect blend of playing styles well i could tell you this is probably the perfect blend of shit <laughs> but um that's just my opinion so uh, let's get into it and have a look now the first thing that i need to do is go into my um Fever Street, because what I need to do is I need to turn all of these off. So, yeah, guys, you're going to be hearing, um, you know, just some... I'm going to have to put some music, basically, in there, because I'm not allowed to, obviously, let you listen to any of these, because it's copyright, so you won't be hearing any of the background music, unfortunately. But, yeah, there you go. This is your playlist for this game, guys. I don't remember any of these, because my, um, my memories of this game were very very brief i played this game when i got it when it came out i spent like 30 35 40 pound or whatever it was when this came out on the day on the ps3 and i played it literally twice and got bored of it and i, I didn't play it since i haven't played this game in over 10 years basically so yeah these are some of these i don't know if you guys you know played this game or a member of them but <laughs> it just I just didn't like that. I remember watching uh, something on YouTube about the, the about the development of this game and saying like the whole style, the the go for this like superhero look for all the players, and it it just doesn't sit right for me. I mean, look at Puyol there. It just they look like buff stick insects. I'm not even joking. That's what they look like. The shoulders are just massive. Everything else is just small. Like, the legs are just so skinny. It just... When you pick up a FIFA game, right, you expect it to be realistic looking. And it is. You know, like, the environments look alright and stuff like that. But the players... Why would you do that to them? I don't get it. Why? To be honest, that's just visuals, right? It doesn't all come down to, you know... It comes down to the gameplay, you know. But... I don't like the visual style that much, and I think a lot of people out there agree. I mean, maybe some people out there like this game and still do. You know, we all like our different things. But anyway, we're here to have a look at it, and um, we got um, we got bit gameplay difficulty here. You can actually have easy, medium, hard, or cheeky. You know what I'm saying? A bit of cheeky chips, guys. Yeah, I'm always on about cheeky chips, but you got cheeky difficulty, which is the first time I've seen something like that. Um, but yeah, auto replays, blah blah blah. Camera, you can have it a a action or sideline. I go for sideline. Is just uh, better that way and oh was there something else there's just audio and stuff in there so uh, that's pretty much that so we got uh, Xbox Live here as well and you could do um, uh, try and find online opponent quickly choosing detailed game options uh, yeah so you can have a playground pick so I think I've just been through some of this already but yeah create a team from the same squad of 10 players so that's kind of interesting um well challenge take your favorite national team to the top standings with the world challenge custom match so you can choose your own settings and find a game that way you've got your leaderboards where you can compare to other people you know if you ever did that <laughs> and um adjust uh, settings for your online experience blah 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 so yeah you got a practice mode in here you got your playground picks in here as well which is basically you need somebody else i think sat with you with another controller to do that same with i think head to head here as well you got your fever street challenge so um there's different stuff play a series of young stars in this challenge and the difficulty is three and a half stars it tells you the difficulty. it kind of reminds me of the challenges that you get in um like you know when you play like fifa 06 or fifa 07 they have like different challenges in the game put you in different situations kind of thing kind of reminds me of that 
to be honest, um, and force a challenge here. And obviously you can unlock more, um, like we got an Adidas challenge here, for example, and stuff like that. So th there's all different kinds of stuff. And uh, if you press Y, yeah, games won to bronze, game scored, zero out of five to bronze, game breakers to bronze. So I think there's like silver and gold as well there with those. Game breaker goals, game breakers make a return, guys. Oh. Oh, the, the, the game breakers are just the worst part of any FIFA Street. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in fact, there, w there was something else I wanted to show you. Was it in Head to Head? Yeah, this was it right here, actually, just before we get into the uh, little match that I'll show you today of the gameplay. But, um, yeah, score the most goals so you can have a timed one. Just got to score more goals in the allotted time. Um, you've got score, which is a uh, fair side to score a set number of goals. So it might be like first to three goals or whatever or like that. Uh, get ahead by a set number of goals. So that's the one, because I think it, it was in like FIFA Street 2 when you was doing the um, rule the street kind of thing where you, you might have to get like four or three goals ahead in some situations and it can just drag on forever. But yeah, headers and volley, so only headers and uh, volley goals count there to win. Game breakers score a set number of game breaker goals to win. Hell no. Nah. And uh, then we've got five aside. No game breakers score the most goals in the allotted time to win. Draws are decided by golden goals. So, yeah. I honestly didn't play this game hardly at all. So, I don't really remember that much of it, honestly. You know what we're going to do for the purposes of this one? We're just going to do Brazil and England there. Then again, I should probably go through which um, teams are in there, I suppose. Um, I'm just going to have a brief look, because I usually do this when we do... Uh, we got P.R. Chana in there, you know what I'm saying, guys? Scotland, uh, etc. here, so uh, yeah. Um, and then we've got some street teams, so we've got Stocky, which I think is like all the like, Stocky-type players, like Rooney and stuff, I think we're on them. Urchins, but yeah. Um, so we'll do that, and you know what? We'll just go with the default team here, I guess. Why not? And uh, we can di pick a different arena. So we got Samba, Beach, Riverside, Mediterranean, Shipyard, Oil Rig, Rooftop. I'm going to go with Beach, actually. Match type, we'll just do... Well, we'll do a timed one, actually. And it can go all the way up to 20 minutes. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go for a five-minute one. And you can select which ball you want as well. So there's quite, there's like a winter, leather, classic, silver, puma, adidas, oops, and there is actually the uh, Nike Total Naughty Aero, which is the one I'll be going with. So here we are then, hot dog and it's holding an ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, look at, look at them. I'm sorry, but the shoulders, man, and then the legs, I, ah, oh, god damn. And yeah, I don't need to know any of that. So uh, yeah, here we go. This is it. This is it. And I think the ball is actually the Nike Aero 2. So I don't know why it says Aero. Just Aero. I think because I'm pretty pretty definitely sure that is the Aero 2. And I've scored there. So that's good. <laughs> Kaka. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, I don't like the visuals. I don't like the style. <laughs> but the gameplay is what it comes down to at the end of the day, guys. So it's... Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, FIFA Street, the, the first one and the second one, were, were much better in my opinion. And I think a lot of people will agree with that. Um, but yeah, oh my god, it's so easy to concede goals apparently as well. Look at Rooney. I'd l l oh, it just makes me cringe the way he looks. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny with that or anything. But it just, ah, oh, Just, ah, oh, Go on, Rubinho. Ah. Oh. Come on. But yeah, you can do a lot of tricks where you can use the walls to, um, you know, like, you, you, you can just jump off the walls for some of the tricks, you know, for whatever reason. You could use the wall in, like, FIFA Street and, I think, FIFA Street 2 uh, for some of the tricks. But you can, I don't know if you could actually sort of, like, jump off them or anything. I don't remember that because I don't, I honestly know or familiar with all of the tricks in those games, honestly. I'm not too bothered about that myself, but... Um, it's 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 something. Look look, he's doing it again. See, it's something that will happen. And uh, yeah, so before you had to use um, when you when you was defending, you could actually use the um, like the right analog to try and put in a tackle. But this time you can you you use like A or if you're on the PlayStation, use X to do like a conservative tackle. You can still do slide tackles and stuff like that. You can cross it in like this and not score, of course. Um, 
and stuff like it's basically just it, it's sort of the same like the goals like the ball can go behind the goal here as you can see um, so it is possible I think it's possible that the ball can get stuck in the back of like the net and then it just sort of like restarts and stuff like that so that's kind of like a thing um, but uh, yeah <laughs> it, it's it, it it's basically just FIFA Street in HD you know on on like the 360 in the in the in the PlayStation and it's a, a thing guys it, it is a thing that is a thing so yeah Th there's not a lot to it I mean if they brought like because you've got like the challenges and stuff but if they brought like you know sort of like the ruler street kind of thing back into it I mean I guess it would have been somewhat decent but the you know the style like is one of the things I want to kind of talk about more because it's just like you know I, do, I don't get why they would do that for a FIFA game. I just don't understand, really. You know I mean, I can, I suppose, like, you know, it's a FIFA Street game. It's not like an actual, you know, proper main football, you know, like FIFA or whatever. You know, like at the time it would have been FIFA 08 that was out while this came, this game came out like in the February 2008. So I sort of get that, um, but. Like, you know, so you, I guess they could do what they want with it, to be honest, which is, is sort of fair enough, but I, I come to expect more realistic kind of thing with it in that way. And, um, I don't know. I, I, I just, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's a million and one things I could say, honestly. I mean, another, I mean, to be honest, like, FIFA Street has never really been fully realistic because obviously the game breakers are not something that's realistic. So I, I kind of get that. But from a visual point of view, you expect it to be realistic. Gameplay wise, I guess it doesn't exactly have to be, you know. If it was up to me, I wouldn't have game breakers at all in these games. I, I would just sort of leave it, kind of thing. Um,. You know, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, when they rebooted this game in 2012, which we will get into eventually, um, you know, we'll go through that and what is happening there. Um, but, you know, that one was a little bit more realistic and I kind of enjoyed that one a lot more than this one. Um, but, yeah, that's just my uh, uh, opinion there. But, yeah, um, it, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I don't have anything else to say for it. Come on, man, I got to score here come on i gotta i gotta level this up and get the golden goal which i don't think is gonna happen here i'm just gonna have to take the shot on oh come on how am i so i mean i'm not bothering with tricks me i'm just sort of shooting and hoping for the best really but on on the other fever streets you had that sort of um what's it called like the uh the, like the radar kind of thing on the goal so you knew where you was like shooting and the goalkeeper throws the ball out like that because lol it's it's an it's another animation that they they made and they did and yeah that's that and i uh i suck at this game to be fair i haven't played it in 10 years guys so go easy on me with that but yeah it's not the worst game in the world but it's not one of my favorites i'd rather much play fifa street 2 over this one and um fifa street 2012 was a lot better than this one as well you know what i mean possibly fifa street 2012 might be my favorite i think possibly you know what i mean i quite had a, i had quite a lot of fun when that was how but that's that's for a, a, a way a way over time in the future guys we'll get around to to that but uh, yeah this is the practice mode by the way and uh, so it's just basically your team against the keeper kind of thing and that's pretty much it really oh god yeah i just love giving the ball back to the keeper me so uh, yeah And oh, oh, I don't, I don't even know what I did there. That's that was that was weird. I don't even know what I what I actually like did there. And whenever when oh, that's another thing. Like when when you um when you score as well, it always does like this. It's it does like this um this voice as well, where it's like for example, I score with Rubinho, for example, and it's like Rubinho, and it's it sounds like friggin' Microsoft Sam or something. Like seriously. <laughs> It does. It feels like they just like that's what they got out of that or something. I don't know. It just feels really strange. I'm just gonna try a few more tricks here. Oh, see if I can just like do something. Oh, 
So I, yeah, I, I, can you? I think you could probably do like a trick on the keeper, but you, you, you do a trick and it does like this little star thing, and then it goes up to wherever your like team bar is. As you can see, what I'm doing right here, and then it just builds that up. And obviously, I think if you sort of shoot, it sort of like banks the points for you, just as it did in like the other FIFA streets. So they've kept like true to that, and haven't changed that up really. Um, but yeah, it, it's just like, I, can I even score here? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that's it, guys. I mean, you know, it it looks nice. It, you know, it's in hitch. It was a first like FIFA Street in in like HD, um, etc. etc. It it is what it is, really. I just feel like they could have done a bit more with it. It just feels a bit bland. I mean, it felt like there was a lot more to do in like even the original FIFA Street and FIFA Street Two. Like, there, there was a lot to do, and, um, you know, it, it, it just, it could have been a bit better, this one. So, yeah, guys, I think that's all I've got to say about it today. Not much else, and uh, I'm going to leave you with that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this somehow. <laughs> Join us for another episode another time, guys. So, please, record it, subscribe, and share as always. Let me know what you think of this game. Did you pick it up? Did you play it? Did you enjoy it, if if that's even possible, <laughs> or did you not enjoy it? You know what? It, it, it's probably not as bad as you think, but not as good as the original two, you know, when you compared it to them at the time of uh, this release, in, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. See you next time, guys. Take care.